Have you ever felt that streaming video is too slow? That it's impossible to get high definition video on your mobile phone? Well, you're not alone. Online video is on the rampage, accounting for over three quarters of internet traffic in the United States. And the cracks are beginning to show. Telecoms groups are having to invest billions of pounds in improving their networks, digging up roads, and introducing 4G and 5G signals. But one British startup has now pointed to a very different solution. Vnova, which is based in London, compresses video in a different way so that less bandwidth is required for the same video. The problem is that uh, a third of the global population is not able to receive video. They are able to talk, they are able to communicate with audio, but they don't receive video. If you want to watch a football game uh, on, a, on a mobile in India or in Africa, it's simply impossible. And, uh, and so we address that problem. Vinova's technology takes inspiration from the human eye, whose images, studies suggest, require a fraction of the processing power that is used by broadcast video. That's because the eye understands the image, seeing the relationships involved and prioritizing certain parts. So an image can be compressed more efficiently and viewers notice a better quality picture, particularly when using slow internet connections. When you watch me, before, before, uh, looking, before seeing the details of my eyes, you see that there is a person, you see that there is a face, and progressively you add details. So our, the, the right way to process information is typically hierarchically. Vinova's technology has been developed together with about 20 companies, including Sky Italia, the satellite TV broadcaster, and Hitachi, which makes high-performance cameras. If successful, its form of video compression could make it easier for doctors to transfer huge files that are generated by MRI scans. It could even be applied to in-flight entertainment systems on aircraft, meaning that films and TV shows could be transmitted wirelessly, removing the need for hundreds of kilos of cabling. Other companies, such as YouTube, are promoting their own solutions to poor quality video, a particular problem in developing countries. The video sharing site keeps videos flowing by reducing the quality when data connections slow down, and even pre-loading some clips before users press play. Ultimately, these innovations won't remove the need for more telecoms masks and digging up roads, but they may prove part of the solution. Henry Mance, Financial Times, London.